Florida researching whether it needs more nuclear power in its future. The Florida Public Service Commission got a briefing today from experts and is now set to offer state lawmakers a report in the coming months for their consideration. Capitol reporter for Saunders on the nuclear option. To be clear, we are likely years away from any substantial nuclear investment here in the state of Florida, but this report could act as a catalyst to get the ball rolling because if you're going to build nuclear, it's probably going to take an investment not just from companies, but the state as well. Florida is already what experts would call nuclear friendly with four reactors generating power for customers. Enacted during the 2024 legislative session. Thursday, the Public Service Commission got briefed on whether Florida needs to expand. Do you think there's an opportunity for more nuclear energy here? In the state, um, I think there's, there's opportunity for us to explore all the options that are on the table. Casey Hinton is leading the charge, gathering input for the PSC after the Florida legislature in March Greenlit a report on the pros and cons. They're looking at small reactors, big enough for commercial or college campuses, mobile units that can be driven around on trucks, and those standard major power plants. There are nuclear power plants that pull up in every major port in the United States. They're called submarines and aircraft carriers. And, and nobody says anything, and yet to do a nuclear plant on, on a site, um, it, you know, it takes a bit of time. That's Jacob Williams with the Florida Municipal Power Agency, who says the state has an opportunity to invest in a sort of renaissance of nuclear power that could cut emissions and align the U.S. with other countries already capitalizing, like China. Now's the time to start thinking policy-wise, because it's not going to happen because a single company says, I'm going to go do it. The state's going to be have to be behind it because sure. there's so much involved. One of the biggest concerns about expansion remains safety and the danger of radiation. Disasters at Fukushima, Three Mile Island, and Chernobyl are still in the minds of many, but experts say the data might surprise you. Nuclear is already, always has been, the safest type of power production. If you compare it to, and not only hydro, coal, natural gas, but even wind and solar. Environmental groups like the Sierra Club still not having it, remaining, quote, unequivocally opposed to nuclear energy. The group said in a statement online, quote, besides reactor safety, both nuclear proliferation and the required long-term storage of nuclear waste make nuclear power a uniquely dangerous energy technology for humanity. All right, so what's the next step here? Well, that is the completion of that report. It is due April 1st of 2025. And that falls right in the middle of the next legislative session. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.